Good morning, viewers. Rob Atfield reporting for Car Port Carling Boats. We've got a beautiful j day here this June the 7th, 2017, and we're on Bigwin Island here, uh, which is uh, on the Lake of Bays, beautiful Lake of Bays in Muskoka, Ontario. This re resort and island has a most interesting history. Uh, Bigwin was named after an Ojibwe chief by the name of Big Wind, and uh, over the centuries it's been a real draw for native groups and settlers and tourists. It has a number of beautiful bays, rising cliffs and golden beaches. The first European settlers here arrived around the 1870s. There was no farming and very little logging on the island because of the landscape formations. So and many of the settlers opened up their homes to tourists. In the early 1900s, C.O. Shaw, a Huntsville tycoon, purchased Bigwin Island and he set out to build the finest resort on the continent and he succeeded. Construction on the resort began in 1915 on the southeast shore where we are now and the uh, style was a combination of classical Mediterranean, Tudor and Victorian architecture. The resort opened in 1920 and it was hugely popular with the socialites and the upper class. There was a grand hall and rotunda with fireplaces, fine dining, entertainment, water sports, and all sorts of summer recreation. In 1922, they opened a nine-hole golf course here. And in the 1930s, a second dining hall opened with big bands, including Count Basie, Duke Ellington, and Guy Lombardo. In the 1940s, some major stars like Clark Gable with Carol Lombard, Ernest Hemingway, H.G. Wells, and the Rockefellers, and even Princess Juliana from the Netherlands, who was here to escape from the Second World War. Prime Minister Diefenbaker has visited, and along with uh, no notable other celebrities. Uh, the resort reached its peak in the early to mid-1940s, and in uh, 1942, the creator, Mr. Shaw, died. The resort's had multiple owners since then. At one point, a 3,000-foot airstrip was built, and uh, it languished some years later. <clears throat> it's been converted to other uses now. And in 1969, the East Lodge became a series of condos. Much of the rest of the resort has been torn down. But in 1986, a new development team took over. And uh, in 19, uh, sorry, 2008, a company by the name of Eagle Landing became the sole investor in this property. There's been a new executive golf course expansion. And I believe the, the condo units are very viable and periodically come up for sale. Anyway, we're here to show you around the island. It's a very, very beautiful spot. And it's accessed by two of these uh, ferry boats that you can see disgorging passengers at this point. Let's take a look around and see what we can find. Here we are in the main dining room viewers. This is the original dining room for the lodge. Really a gorgeous, gorgeous spot with beautiful views overlooking Lake of Bays. You don't see that very clearly in this video, but trust me, wonderful view. Full-size, well-equipped bar by the look of it. We'll continue our tour outside the building. We're looking to the east viewers here at the original boathouse for Big Win Inn. And unfortunately, I don't see any wooden boats at the dock here, but I guess we can't have everything we wanted. It's a very beautiful island. I'll see if I can find out what this tower is for you. Looking east along Lake of Bays. We have a different view of the in here viewers. And interesting, there's a covered walkway here, presumably for protection from the rain. This is obviously an earlier 1900s addition to the resort. Panning around again to the water in the boathouse area. What a unique spot. These cloisters, viewers, were uh, built by uh, First World War prisoners of war, German prisoners of war, believe it or not. I guess it was cheap labor. 
We're heading back now to the condominium section of the resort. These are privately owned, I understand. And the original huge chimney there is, I think, part of one of the other large original lodge areas. And there's our tour of Big Win Inn and Big Win Island viewers. Thanks for watching. Over and out. Basically with an option.